Teenager was one of several Palestinians who were wounded after Israeli soldiers opened fire on demonstrators in Beta, south of Nablus. The Palestinian health ministry says he later died of his injuries. The soldiers also fired tear gas. People had gathered to protest against the expansion of a Jewish settlement nearby. And Israeli security forces have arrested several Palestinian children in occupied East Jerusalem. The arrests took place close to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound as part of what Israel is calling Operation Law and Order aimed at cracking down on Palestinian protests. And dozens of people also gathered in the neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah to show support for Palestinian families facing forced displacement. Stephanie Decker was at the site on one of the protests in occupied East Jerusalem. Well, the protest uh, is dwindling down, winding down. There's still, they keep moving a couple of people around, but the group is smaller uh, than it was before. We did have a presence here of uh, Arab uh, members of Knesset, Israeli Palestinians, also an Israeli member of Knesset, that's the Israeli parliament, and they gave some speeches just in front. That's the entrance uh, of Sheikh Shah just behind us, particularly that street that has the families that are facing these forced uh, expulsions, basically giving a message also to the new government. Of course, there's going to be a new government sworn in here on Sunday. If goes to plan. Uh, it'll be the first time in 12 years that Israel doesn't have Benjamin Netanyahu uh, as its prime minister, but given the message that this needs to change, that this policy needs to change, it's a policy that is backed up by Israeli law, as we've been reporting for a long time. The forced expulsion of these families goes back to what they argue is Jewish trusts having owned this land over 100 years ago, while the Palestinians have rights and papers as well, but they're not afforded, um, you know, the same legal recourse. So, and this is something that, yes, we're talking about it now the spotlight is back on it now because of the events of the past month but this is something that's been going on for decades and it's something that will continue so this is why people here are trying to keep up momentum keep up the international spotlight let's say on something that is ongoing and has been ongoing for many many years